Hi there, this is Mark, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to find the equation of a line in slope-intercept form using GeoGebra. I'm going to get started by labeling my first point here, described by the order pair 3, 6, and assigning it to the variable P1. Notice that if your point does not appear in the coordinate plane, please make sure that it is toggled to visible. I'm now going to define my second point, and then I'm going to create a list. Now in GeoGebra, we create objects of type list using curly braces, and I'm going to populate this list with my two points, P1 and P2. Notice that we use a comma to delineate the points here. Now I can make use of the fit line function, which will be used to find the equation of the line in slope intercept form, and the argument of that function is that list of points. Now we can see from the equation that the slope is negative 5, but I could use the slope function and provide it the argument of our object, which is our line, which is described as f in fact in this case a function and we can see here that this returns the slope of negative 5 and since I'm in Sweden I'm going to denote the slope as k. Now I can also see that the y-intercept of our line is positive 21. I could take our function f provide it the argument 0 and this returns 21 which is our y-intercept. In Sweden we use m to denote the y-intercept so I'll just change that variable. Now the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to find the correlation coefficient and this function takes the list of points as its argument and as expected we get a value of negative one here as our line is decreasing and it is perfect correlation. Ooh, I did mention that I am in Sweden so how do I get those function names in Swedish? Well I go into settings, hit the cog, and choose Swedish as my language for GeoGebra and boom! All the function names are translated to Swedish. My name is Mark, thanks for watching.